Today's powerful winter storm brought heavy rain, hail and snow to the county, creating dangerous weather conditions. Tonight, News 8's Amanda Shotsky joins us with an update on a difficult rescue operation in San Ysidro and what we're learning about a local man who died after being buried in snow while skiing in Mammoth. As you can see, the rain has stopped for tonight, but it was coming down hard enough that it filled up a drainage trench, trapping eight people inside. Unfortunately, one of those people did not survive. Heavy rain doused Southern California, creating dangerous floodwaters in San Ysidro. It was Friday afternoon when Border Patrol, San Diego Fire and lifeguards responded to calls of eight people trapped inside a culvert that had become overrun with water. During this rain event, we did upstaff uh, quite a few lifeguard vehicles, so they were close by. So when this happened, they were able to assist us to get in uh, to assist the patients out there. Agents were able to immediately open the great covering, releasing that water, but the incident left three people injured. One man was pronounced dead at the scene. He was found a couple hundred yards down street. In La Mesa, the winter weather caused giant hail to come down hard, hitting cars and city streets. While in lower elevations, thunderstorms and heavier showers picked up throughout the day, in the mountains, snow and ice created dangerous road conditions. Up at Mammoth Mountain, where more than 90 inches of snow has fallen, a man from Oceanside was killed while skiing in blizzard conditions. According to the Mountain Ski Patrol, the 52-year-old man was found upside down in the deep snow. And despite the efforts of Good Samaritans who tried to dig him out, he was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. His identity has not yet been released. In a statement on the ski resort's Facebook page, it read that the latest superstorm is a reminder about the power of Mother Nature. While the rain has subsided, we know that crews plan to spend several hours downstream from where this incident happened. They say to search for anyone else that might have gotten stuck. Back to you. Thanks, Amanda. Tonight, Heather's pulling double duty. She's joining me on the anchor desk and filling in on weather. A little bit of a superwoman going. <laughs> Heather, you've been tracking the storm system today. What can you tell us about the current conditions? Well, if you needed a break from the rain, you are going to get one. Not just starting now, but really for the next couple of days before the next system moves in. And we're expecting that about the middle part of next week. So where is the storm? Well, as you can see, for the most part, it has already exited out of San Diego County. You're seeing just a couple of spotty showers, mostly in the southern portion of the county. And you may still be noticing a light sprinkle in the Escondido area. Palomar Mountain continues to get a light dusting of snow in some of those upper elevations. How much rain did we pick up? Well, really some impressive totals, as you can see here. If we're going to declare anybody the winner in the rain department, we would have to give that award to Oceanside, picking up over an inch and a half of rain. Again, the bulk of it came in likely when you were sleeping very early this morning, and then we got that secondary push as we got into the afternoon. In the South County along the coastline, Chula Vista picked up close to one inch. Same story in downtown San Diego up through Miramar on into Encinitas. You get out to some of our inland locations. We're over an inch and a third for Santee for Escondido and over the one inch mark also in Ramona. It is cold out there tonight. Again, the storm has moved on mostly clear skies in a lot of locations and that's allowing our temperature to take a rapid drop and these numbers will continue to drop down as we get into the early part of tomorrow morning. So yeah, wear the flannel pajamas, maybe throw the extra quilt on the bed. We'll talk about your eight day microclimate forecast and be cut at that next storm system that's coming up. Carla. Thanks, Heather.